guys, what's going on? It's me, KLV, and today I'm back with a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you this really good Chroma build. Now, this is another God Mode Chroma build, and I kind of went ridiculous on the armor. So, we went with Warcry. Now, the reason why I went with Warcry is one, we get armor, and two, we get increased attack speed. So, just basically all a complete bonus. And um, we get a lot of armor. So if you see here, we get an uh, armor increase of 86%. Our elemental ward gives us 258 armor, and our vex armor gives us an increase of 602%. Now, I think I went a bit too far with the armor, and we also have adaptation and umbral fiber and umbral vitality. And if you saw by the background, it was very hard for us to die. We were going for about 30 minutes now. The reason why I didn't go longer is because I had to do stuff, but I, I literally could have easily gone further if I had to. So if you see here, we have enemy radar. That's just so we can see people really quick. We have streamline, blind rage. Again, I like using this one because then we have 90% efficiency. Prime continuity, eternal war. Now this is really a, a mod that you want to have because this basically makes us so you can always have your war cry upper so you don't have to keep recasting it over and over and over and over. So you only have to recast your vex armor and your elemental ward because this is going to be constantly on if you have the eternal war. We've got Augur Reach and we also have Umbral Vitality, Umbral Fiber. Now you don't have to have range if you don't want to. You could swap this out for like Prime Flow or something that you prefer. So if you prefer to have Prime Flow, then you can go with Prime Flow. But you don't really need it to be honest because as you don't really need to have it, having Prime Flow because we already already have 300 energy and with Prime Flow you have like 700 energy, so it's ridiculous. Now, for the build to actually work, you do need to have healing return on your weapon. Now, the weapon that I was using was the Chrono Prime, because it's probably like the most OP melee weapon in the game. We have Condition Overload, we have Prime Reach, Violent Scourge, Berserker, Blood Rush, Healing Return, Weeping Wounds, and Vicious Frost. Now, kind of a, a basic build, to be honest. I use this build near, near about every single one that I play, except for the other Chrono video that I did. I didn't have healing return on because we had multi healers. But this build is actually really good. Now this is actually kind of just a short video. But if you guys do enjoy this build, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. If you have any build suggestions, make sure you do put them in the comment section down below to help others out as well. If you want to join the Discord and if you need any help, you can help. Someone will help you, probably I will help you or just someone in the Discord will help you. Uh, last thing, like I said earlier, make sure you do subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. And... Yeah, that's been it. Peace out.